Hello people, this is self -Turts, and in this video we are going to discuss about a basic stack algorithm that is how to reverse a given string using stack. So this is a very basic question but you will get a understanding of what is stack and how to traverse a string and how to reverse that string. So to give a better understanding of the problem we will look into it in this way that this is the given string that is it is a string which is having the characters s c l f t u t s so this is my channel name if you have not subscribed to it then please subscribe to it for getting more videos more uh, algorithmic more programming and coding videos so back to the topic so this is my string or this is a word which is self turds so now what i need to do i need to reverse it which means i need to uh, print this in this manner that s t u t f l e s but i have to use a stack to achieve it now what is a stack so stack is a last in first out data structure so that uh, any item which is pushed into the stack in the first will come at the last and any item which is pushed at the last will come in the first so it is basically lifo last in first out now if i will put into a stack then what does what does it mean that the that the characters will get stacked over each other so i will take the index 0 and i'll write it here so it is s it has been pushed into the stack ne the next element is what or the next character is what e so e comes above s so it is stacked so e is getting stacked over s same way l is getting stacked over e same way f t u t s now if you see this stack then you will see that the string is already reversed so at the top it is the last one top minus one it is the last minus one so if i'll uh, print the stack or if i'll pop every item from the stack it is already reversed and what is stack stack is a li lifo data structure which means last in first out since the last s has been pushed into the stack at the last but it will come out of the stack at the first so it is not possible to print this s first or this e second the first thing that we will be able to print is the is the top s it will be removed then this t then this t will also be removed from the stack and then u so you so how we will achieve this uh, particular problem statement of reversing a string using a stack we will push the data to the stack and then we'll pop the stack and print the characters so in this way we can achieve it i've come to my eclipse id here and you can see that we have already created a self touch dot java class and inside the self dot self dot java there is a main method so we'll start our coding here so the first thing is what we need to create a string self -tuts. so what i'll do i'll say string str equal to what self -tuts. so this is the string that we want to reverse using stack now to re the next thing is what we need to create a stack so that we can push individual characters of this string to that stack so java provides us with a data structure that is stack what is the data type of the element that is that will be stored in the stack so it will be what character data type so we'll say c-h-a-r-a-c-t-e-r -E character data type and we'll say st is the name of the variable same way we'll say stack and then character and then we'll define this particular one now from where does this stack will come so java will say what there is a import java.util so inside java.util.stack this stack data structure is present so let me check what is the problem okay so i have missed it here new so i'll say new and then this stack so we'll we'll be able to create a new st variable which is a stack variable now we'll loop over the individual characters of this string and we'll push that inside the stack so for int i equal to zero and then i less than str dot length and then i plus plus so this is a basic for loop which everyone knows so i'll just write it so this is a stack and now what we'll do this is a looping structure and then what we'll do we'll push the individual character to the stack so we'll say st dot push and then what the data will be equal to str dot carat so it will be char at and the index so index is what the i i will carry the index and this is the thing now once the uh, stack once the characters have been pushed inside this stack then we need to pop out the stack pop out the characters from stack and we'll print that so what we'll do we'll check while stack is not empty while st dot is empty 
equal to equal to false so we'll say that while the stack is not empty then do what system dot out dot print not print ln because we need to print in the same line we'll say first we'll save the character so it is better to understand so we'll say character ch equal to what uh, st dot pop so we'll pop the character out and then what we'll do we'll print the character so system dot out dot print character okay so this is the thing so what this will do first time it will come stack is not empty because there is s then it what it will do it will pop the element put that value inside this ch data uh, ch variable and it will print that same way it will try to pop one after another and when the stack is empty this while loop will exit so again i'll check stack st dot is empty equal to equal to false which means run this while loop if in if a single element is also present which means that if any element is present inside the stack then just run this while loop so i think this is perfect i'll try to run it and we'll see what happens so it is st ut F -L -E -S. and if i read from the left hand right hand side so it is self self and then duts so we have successfully done this question and we have printed the string using stack in reverse manner so i'll just check with another one so i'll say a b c d so the output should be what d c b a so i'll again run this and this time d c b a so yes i have done this question and i think you have also understood it in a better manner so hope you like this video hope you like my channel please subscribe to my channel and please share these videos with other people thank you